Here we have borax washing soda, two bars of cold processed soap that I made that I grated, a Ziploc bag, an old box. I'm going to show you how to make your own laundry soap. Stay tuned. People of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere on the Internet. My soaps are located at purplebutterfly-soaps.myshopify.com, my blog, purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com. And it's laundry day, and I'm out of laundry soap. So, what's a girl to do? Well, I'm here to tell you. You're going to take two bars of your favorite soap. Since I make my own soap, I just basically chose my favorite scent, which is mango papaya. The soap that I make is all natural. The mango papaya is made with mango butter, coconut oil, castor oil, palm oil, soybean oil, and mango papaya scent. I use a regular um, grater and I grated up two bars of it, okay? I got a Ziploc bag and an old box. This is going to be what I stir it in. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Next you need some washing soda and for some odd reason I used to get this stuff at Kroger's, Walgreens, CVS, um, every grocery store in the city. Now all of a sudden it's hard to find but Kroger's did have it. You also need Borax 20 ml tea. Everybody knows what this product is. Make sure you can find it. Um, actually, you want to make sure you can find the borax and the washing soda before you grate up the soap. Or you could, you know, stick the bars of soap through a, um, like a food processor. I don't have one of those. Um, sometimes, just to make sure it blends up really good, I'll go ahead and stick it through my blender, which is a ninja. But for the most part, I don't worry about it. Now, you need to squeeze it and make sure it's powdered and not, you know, chunks. You're going to need two cups of it. You're going to need two cups of everything, actually. Um, some people actually put baking soda with it to boost, but it's not necessary. I use this particular... Um, cup because it's not attached. My one cup measure is attached permanently to the other measuring cups. It makes it kind of awkward to, you know, handle. So this loose half cup measure, I just know to count, you know, two of them is one cup, two more is, you know, another cup. But basically, and the soap is a little sticky because I just grated it and it's a moisturizing soap. But once we put it with the powdered ingredients, no problem. So, one. Now hold on. Let me gather that up. There's one cup. And the standard recipe for this would be two cups of the washing powder, two cups of the borax, and one cup of the grated soap. But I always use two because, you know, extra strength. And sometimes, because I have this much left, I just go ahead and pour the rest of it in there because, well, I can. 
which is what I'm going to do. I didn't go through all that work grading soap and getting my arms to work out to leave half of it there. Okay, so yeah, put that in there. Next, we're going to take two cups. Let me put this down here where it's easier to get in my lap. Because I knew it was going to do that. It was just literally trying to just escape. So, there's a big old lump in there that's getting in the way. Making everything a little annoying. Oh, well, <laughs> now I'm going to take the measuring cup and chop up that lump. That way, the lump won't be in the finished product. Now, oh, let's just put that right there. Because this is a powdered substance, it'll coat the, you know, very moist soap. And when we're all said and done, we will have powdered soap that's not sticky. Okay, there goes the borax. Now comes the washing soda. I'm putting this on my lap here. Well, since that doesn't want to open easily, let's take a pair of scissors and encourage it. There we go. I always have trouble with the Army Hammer washing soda box. It's like it just doesn't want to, you know, even with that little perforated thing there, it never wants to just easily open. I guess that's a good thing, product security, you know what I mean? Ooh, I just broke a nail. Which is sucky because I barely have nails these days. Because of the meds I take, my nails are very, very thin. They flake and stuff. So, yeah, we don't want to break what little bit we got. What the washing soda does is it boosts whatever soap you're using. And the borax has the power to um, basically stain fight and all that. Let's read what it does. Enhances the cleaning power of laundry detergent. Around the house, you can use it to clean and deodorize bathrooms around the home, cleaning various surfaces, including wall wallboard, countertops, glass, and vinyl tile. Some of that I just learned just now. <laughs> this is the way my family has done it for years, so yeah. You don't really think about why we use certain ingredients i just know these are the ingredients okay now that that's combined that's when you shake it up which is why i put it in a ziploc bag so i can seal it up before i shake it up so it doesn't get powdery stuff all through the air if that makes sense and this bag doesn't want to seal well, we're going to do this. Okay. And then, no, 
because I'll tape it. I was in duct tape. <laughs> and I have done that in the past. And then you just cut it when you're done and continue on with life as normal. Oh, well, ah, I just spilled half of that on my lap. And some of it on the floor. And if it doesn't allow you to shake it, reach in there and blend it by hand. <laughs> you can also stick it in the blender and pulse it a few times so that way it all gets combined. And then you put it in your box and you call it laundry soap. And you use a half a cup of it at a time to do your laundry. Um, unless you're using one of those uh, front loaders and then you use half that, which would be a quarter cup. There we go. Now I'll put this in the box. basically how I stir it. I could also just store it in the Ziploc, but yeah, when I go to the laundry room, a little box is more convenient than a Ziploc, which can get away from you. Now, because I'm me, I'm going to show this to you. I spilled that <laughs> on the floor too. See? Here's the good thing about that. Since this is a laundry product and this is soap, I'm going to sweep that up and put it right back in there because when it comes time to wash, the any debris, you know, dust or dirt or whatever that was on the floor, and my house is basically clean, so... You know, no problem. That will dissolve away when you wash your clothes, just like the, um, you know, debris from the clothes you're washing will wash away. And the soap will still do its thing. The borax will still do its thing. The washing soda will still do its thing. So, yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to stand up and brush all this off of me. <laughs> Next, let's increase the height. There we go. Oh, excuse me. Because I want it completely powdered, I'm going to put it in my blender. Make sure you blow outward so that way all the powder stuff don't get in your nose. And 
that's why I use the measurements I use because if I had put any more in there like uh, the two cups of baking soda that would take it right up to the top so yeah I don't make batches bigger than my uh, utilities can handle if that makes sense there now let's post this a couple of times I'm going to turn this around so you can hopefully see what I'm doing. sure all of the little pieces are incorporated all of it blended in mixed evenly so that way when you stick it in the washer or the dryer I mean the washing machine you don't have to worry about it being unevenly blended Now you will notice it's half the size. I mean, at first it was all the way up to here. It's half the size because it's all powdered, blended in. All the pieces of the soap that was, you know, still in uh, little grated bits or whatever are now little teeny granules. And then the powder stuff is completely mixed in, so forth and so on. And now we have a powdered laundry detergent. Just that easy. And a lot cheaper than, you know, going to store and picking up that orange container with the famous name or the blue container with the famous name. This got my name. <laughs> Purple butterfly soaps know how to do all things soap. Hi, I'm Purple Butterfly Soaps. <laughs> now, if you look really, really closely, you can see how fine that is ground up. Next move, let it sit for a while so that way all the powder that was in the air when you open it up don't fly out in your face. Let it settle. I'm going to let this settle over there. And then I'm going to take and put it in the container I had it in or a different box altogether but I'm thinking it's going to go in here and that box because well I've been using it for <laughs> a year <laughs> when the box tear up then I'll get a different box all right then that'll sit there and wait The floor is going to need to be mopped, so let me move that out the way, get all the powdered matter up, yeah, and fix the camera because it seems I got it crooked, yeah. Anyway, 
This has been Peepla7 on Twitter and YouTube, Peepla elsewhere on the internet. My soaps locate Purple Butterfly, dash soaps dot my Shopify dot com. My blog, Purple Butterfly, dash Peepla dot blogspot dot com. That's how I make powdered laundry soap. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned. And I hope you try it for yourself. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye now.